In this video, we will cover the combi boiler installation of the Tardo Starter Kit Wireless Smart Thermostat V3 Plus, including programmer with hot water control. This includes the installation of the Tardo wireless temperature sensor, internet bridge, and receiver. The first step is to install the internet bridge. The internet bridge needs to be connected by using the ethernet and USB cable supplied in the starter kit. Use the USB cable with the plug adapter and plug it into a power socket. When the connection to the power and router is established, the LEDs on the internet bridge will start to light up. When all three LEDs are solid, the connection to the internet bridge is successful. Press the pairing button to activate the pairing mode on the internet bridge. This allows the other devices to connect to it. In the next step, we will activate and pair the wireless temperature sensor. Remove the battery slip from the back of the wireless temperature sensor to activate this device. The LEDs will start and display Tardo followed by High. To pair the wireless temperature sensor with the internet bridge, press the button on the wireless temperature sensor for three seconds. On the display of the wireless temperature sensor, there will appear an animation of two circles going towards each other. A successful pairing is indicated by the link symbol. To make sure that Tardo is in full control of the heating system, you have to make sure that the old thermostat is decommissioned. To do this, turn off the power to the heating system, then remove the old thermostat. Use the compact splicing connectors delivered in the package to bridge the live wires of the thermostat. Please ensure that you use the two other connectors for the neutral and earth wires. You can then either put the wireless temperature sensor on the old thermostat's location or in another room if desired. Tardo's wireless receiver, when installed on a combi boiler, can either be installed for a potential free contact or a switch live setup. When installed for a switch live setup, please install the bridging wire between L and COM of the heating relay. Please refer to the installation manual of the combi boiler to find the correct type of wiring. Put the wires in the correct terminals. The terminals for heating and hot water are clearly marked on the wireless receiver. The LEDs on the wireless receiver will start to blink and the device will start up. Please wait 30 seconds before you proceed with any other action. Press the pairing button on the wireless receiver to initiate the pairing process. The LED on the wireless receiver will start to flash rapidly and will start to search for a connection with the internet bridge. When this is successful, the LED will become static. The wireless receiver's default configuration is for a standard S or Y plan setup. As we are installing the receiver on a combi boiler, it is therefore necessary to change the configuration. Press the two heating and hot water test buttons on the right hand side at the same time for 5 seconds, until the coloured power LED shows the correct configuration. Press either the heating or hot water test button to switch between configurations and select the yellow LED. To confirm the configuration, don't push any button and wait for 5 seconds. Once the selection is confirmed, the LED will blink to indicate it is being saved. Afterwards, the yellow LED stays solid for 20 seconds. You can now test the heating and hot water by pressing the corresponding test buttons. When a testing button is pressed, the wireless receiver will go into testing mode, indicated by the change of colour and state of the power LED. The device exit the testing mode automatically after two minutes of not pressing either test button. To properly hand over to the customer, please show them how to manually control their heating from the smart thermostat. Increase the temperature on the smart thermostat with the arrow keys and wait until the boiler fires up and the radiators get warm. There could be a small delay between raising the temperature, the clicking of the relay and the boiler turning on. Collect the stickers with the serial numbers from the smart thermostat and internet bridge and put them in the setup guide. First, they need to download the app and create their account. Next, scan in their QR code for the internet bridge, which you have stuck inside the setup guide. This automatically adds the other paired Tardo devices to their account. Once done, the customer has full control of their heating and schedule from the Tardo app. Should you need any support during an install, 
please call the professional installer support number shown in the installation manual or visit our website tardo.com slash installers. Thanks for watching.